We've seen a ladder of mediums to be used with Atelier Interactive and Atelier A2. I want to now show you two special mediums for our more fluid, more matte paint, Joe Sonia and Free Flow. Now Free Flow is slightly more liquid than Joe Sonia and has a, an even more matte finish. Uh, but the two are kind of cousins and of course, if you don't think there are enough colours to suit you in Preflow, you might borrow some of the colours from Jo Sonia. You'll so see as soon as we start to work with them that the viscosities are similar. Jo Sonia has a little more body and then when we start using the mediums, they become even more interchangeable. There are two mediums which are developed for the more flowing paints, Joe Sonia and Free Flow, which are really quite similar. Joe Sonia is just a little bit heavier than Free Flow in its consistency, and they can be used concurrently or in the same painting. I'm adding thin medium now, which is used to dilute the, the paint in a controlled way. And so if you want to paint fine detail, or if you want to lay down an area of even colour, uh, it's a more successful way of doing that than if you simply added water, which of course you can do. But the, the, the water is a little bit more, shall I say, disorganised in the way it behaves. Now, you will see as this section here settles down, that uh, I've diluted the paint quite a lot with the thin medium and I haven't stretched the watercolour paper. And you will see eventually that a little puddle forms where there is a, 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 a dent in the watercolour paper caused by the wet paint. The heavy bodied holding medium gives you a paintly effect, which you might want to incorporate into the smoother painting styles that usually connected with the use of these more flowing paints. So it gives you a versatility towards heavy bodied paint without being heavy bodied and maintains the matte finish. And uh, this medium is also, the holding medium is good for doing transition glazes where you're over painting, where you want to incorporate a, a, a color on top of a color that's already dry. So it's very controllable and it's very brushy. It just gives you more diversity without losing the matteness of the paint, which have a matte finish and are more flowing in their consistency. Thank you for watching all of this. And if you would like to have more information, please just go to our website.